Good morning, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the weekend. Sunshine Saturday and Sunday felt great. The wind was light. Temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. Fantastic. In fact, I had the pleasure once again of being in the Grafton Christmas Parade on Saturday. It had to be the largest crowd they've ever had. I mean, it's one of the biggest parades in the area, but it was packed. Allie Austin and our new pup, Kaya, decided to come with, and they were throwing out stuff out of the Jeeps. It was fun. The crowds were great, and they were all happy about the weather. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe not so happy this morning as we're seeing the clouds, the wintry mix moving back in, all kinds of colors on the radar. That is because there's sleet mixing in with this light rain and even a little bit of light snow. So it's not thunderstorm action, it's sleet pellets being hit by the radar beam. That looks like it's a lot more intense than it actually is. A whole lot of colors across Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa, and northern Illinois. You're seeing that wintry mix move in here. This is the same storm system that's caused all kinds of problems uh, in the southern plains with uh, freezing rain, heavy flooding rains, and even some snow. There are winter weather advisories now uh, from Green Bay over towards Wausau, and then a winter storm warning for southwestern Minnesota and western Iowa. They could pick up up close to a foot of snow. This would be mainly for some sleet and some light snow accumulations in the Fox River Valley uh, over the next day. And a half. Temperatures are cold. It's nine in Rapid City. It's 34 in Des Moines. It's 40 in St. Louis. Here locally, we are in the low to mid, even upper 30s. 40 in Racine, 35 in Waukesha. And it's this area this morning that we'll see that wintry mix as you're so close to that freezing mark. Wind, not a factor this morning, between zero and about eight miles per hour. But it is creating some wind chills. Yeah, some wind chills in the upper 20s from Beaver Dam to Fond du Lac, 33 in Sheboygan, and it feels like 30 in Burlington and Lake Geneva. Around Jefferson County, things are pretty quiet right now, but you will see that little light wintry mix moving in. Uh, it's 34 in Watertown, uh, Fort Atkins 34, and Palmyra also at 34 degrees. The bigger picture for the future forecast showing you that while we'll get this first batch of a wintry mix out of here before 9 o'clock this morning, we stay cloudy, and then we'll see more rain showers develop throughout the late afternoon into the evening. Meanwhile, from Wausau westward, it's all snow, so if you are traveling to the west, be prepared for that. They could easily pick up 6 to 12 inches of snow in parts of Iowa. Iowa and Minnesota over the next 36 hours. We're going to be too warm. We're going to be in the warm sector of the storm, so this will be rain off and on throughout the, the day today and throughout tonight and into early tomorrow. The best chance of rain, though, looks to be tonight into early on Tuesday. Even up north, we'll see some decent snow accumulations as well. We can see a little bit of light snow here Tuesday morning as the cold front comes through. Otherwise, we're looking at about a quarter to a half inch of rain across most of the area before the storm system moves out. Any snow would be about a dusting of accumulation. Temperatures tonight, upper 30s to lower 40s. That's why it will be rain, a cold rain, but it will be rain. And then temperatures tomorrow start to tumble. We'll get to 42 early in the morning. And then we drop into the 30s in the afternoon with a strong southwest wind. Winter starts tomorrow as well, meteorologically speaking. 42 degrees for tomorrow, December 1st. 40 uh, Wednesday, 42 on Thursday. Once we get out of Wednesday morning, you can wash the car because it is going to be beautiful. Sunshine and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for the weekend. Tatiana? You're off.